just uh, because you talk about training people, this isn't even in the notes, but where do you, where have you been training people? Just so people know, you know, your history a little bit well, on the training side. Most, most of my training uh, has, was at high spots before the school shut down. And uh, I work with some with Lodi. Lodi has a training school as well. Um, so mostly high spots in, um, in Lodi school and Cozone, uh, LeBron Cozone and uh, Greensboro, North Carolina. He has a training school that I'm that I'm at a lot as well. And uh, those three, I'm, I'm more at. I was at high spots weekly. I was I was working there. Yeah, and that's where most of my kids come from. Um, but then uh, after high spots, I was time wise. I spent more time at Cozones. But then Lodi lives in Charlotte, and so I, I train um, kind of like one on one, or or when I'm when I have time, I go and train uh, with Lodi uh, in his class. But, you know, when I'm there, he kind of, you know, just kind of backs up and lets me kind of do the class type thing um, because we, we know we have different styles and he respects mine. And he's like, oh, was Caprice here, y'all, you know, let him do, you know, a class or whatever. And uh, I've known Lodi for, oh, man, 20 years or something. So we have a great relationship. And same thing with, with Cozone. I've known him. Uh, since he was uh, he wasn't even 18 when I met him. Um, and so uh, it's just great relationships, man. When I look into sport, I've been in this sport 28 years and the relationships I have um, is it, just phenomenal. The high spots thing, did that just shut down because of COVID? Is that what led to the school shutting down? Um, I, I'm not sure. I, I okay. think what happened was the building we were in. The, the like uh, I don't know all the details. I just know the build. We had a, a good building we was in. Was running shows in it and everything. And then the owner just all of a sudden didn't want wrestling in the building. Ugh. Like he like he just all of a sudden just didn't want wrestling. And we knew about it for uh, a couple of months. And then the school shut down. And my main thing is making sure you know none of the kids got lost and and all of them are still going at it, man. And so I'm um, just proud of them. You obviously you still wrestle and at a high level. And then on top of that, you know, you do broadcasting. Do you ever see a day where maybe you open up your own school full time in the future? Uh, I don't know. I, I've thought about it. Um, my brother and I, we talk about it all the time. And um, yeah, in my head, it's like the Ageless Academy. Yeah, you know, that sounds that good. <laughs> do. Yeah. And I, I definitely would love to do it. Um, but I'm the type of person. I don't start anything unless I can see myself finishing it because there's, there's no use in having a bunch of candles lit if you don't have any fires burning. And so um, if I want to, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. You know what I mean? I'm not just going to have it. That's a really good philosophy. And I like that analogy too. 